A lot of research that's done in ARI uh, prides itself on being very connected to the industry bodies. I don't think we're researchers working in ivory towers. We are very connected with a lot of our end users, the Murray-Darling Basin Authority, uh, federal government and state government departments and these industry bodies. I'm Dr Samantha Cavon. I'm a research fellow and a lecturer with the Australian Rivers Institute. I work mainly on vegetation of riparian areas, floodplains and wetlands uh, with a view to informing environmental water management and conservation and restoration. So my day-to-day -day work in ARI um, involves a mixture of teaching, supervising students, uh, managing research projects and contributing service both to the university and the national and international scientific committee. So recently um, I've attended a meeting on wetlands in Changshu in China where I'm working on a working party um, for the Ramsar Convention, which is looking at uh, compiling the first state of the world's wetlands reports over the next three years. So that's um, the kind of service commitment that I um, contribute to and find really exciting working with people from all around the world. I really like working uh, at ARI because of the diversity of people that work there and um, working on big interdisciplinary projects uh, where everyone contributes their knowledge and ideas. I do a lot of um, sort of um, science socialising I guess. For quite a few years I managed um, on behalf of Stuart a uh, national research network for climate change adaptation for freshwater biodiversity and so a lot of that was organising think tanks and workshops where we think about controversial ideas and get lots of people in. Over the last three years for the Cotton Research and Development Corporation, um, myself and a few colleagues in ARI have been working on the capacity of riparian vegetation to regenerate in cotton farming areas in the northern Murray-Darling Basin. Um, so the research there we found that woody vegetation recruitment is very, very patchy. So uh, seedlings that successfully grow into adult trees, that happens very rarely um, and it's probably quite vulnerable to climate change and changes in flow and changes in land use management. But at the same time we found that uh, shrubs and ground cover species are just incredibly resilient. So it's great to know that despite these environments being so harsh, that um, a lot of organisms that live there are very well adapted to that and in a great condition. I've been involved in the development of the Murray-Darling Basin Plan over the last 10 years. Um, so that environmental water planning really depends on having a knowledge of um, how dynamic vegetation is, what's valuable about it, what species are rare, um, what species are well adapted to different conditions. So a lot of the wetlands I work in are very important um, for international uh, uh, water bird breeding, so the Narran Lakes for instance, I've worked there for a long time, it's a Ramsar site. So we can um, inform water regimes and what uh, water will produce the best kinds of shrubland to support water bird breeding and feeding in those areas. Most research that we conduct would have quite a bit of connection with community groups. When we work in the Northern Murray-Darling Basin now with cotton farmers, we spend quite a lot of time with landholders and we can learn so much from them, some just amazing people and really interesting stories of the landscape. And I think we're really moving into a place where research is being conducted um, much more in those kind of partnerships between local community and researchers.